Hey everybody, this is GGB. We're going to get in college basketball outside of a Sunday edition. I legitimately think there was not a shot that this video was going to matter. Um, heading into Saturday, I was like, how in the world do I expect to get three points in two days when one of them was yesterday, right? We had two games yesterday. They had a combined one and six record. One of them had their head coach had signed. It was like they were both playing top 10 teams, and it's like on the road. How in the world is that even going to be possible? And it didn't seem like it was. But then Bryant. Bryant Bulldogs, thank you. They go on the road in the beat number 10 FAU. 22 and a half point dogs. Largest upset of the college basketball season so far. To keep my hopes alive, I still need one and a half points today. So if you don't remember the rules, it means I need to get the biggest upset of the day today. Um, there's a lot of games. There's eight games, chances to hit. So let's get into it. Um, we have. Let's get into the games, and then I'll talk about which ones I think have legitimate chances of hitting, and then what my pick for this is going to be. Um, at 1 o'clock, we have number 5, UConn, who's 3-0. and Who's taking on Indiana on a neutral court? Who's also three and zero? UConn favored by twelve and a half points on ESPN. At two thirty, we get the the Bahamas championship game. We got Kansas State is three and one taking on number twelve Miami, who's also three and one. Miami favored by three and a half points on CBS Sports Network. Um, at three thirty, we got number nineteen Texas, who's three and zero taking on Louisville on a neutral court, who's two and one. Uh, Texas favored by eighteen and a half on ESPN. At 6 o'clock, we UT Arlington is 2-1. and one. Trailing number 3, Arizona, who's 4-0. Oh. Uh, Arizona favorite 27.5 on Pac-12 Network. At 6 o'clock, we have Alcorn State, who's 1-3. Trailing number 18, Michigan State, who's 2-2. Two two. Michigan State favorite 23.5 points on the Big Ten Network. At 8 o'clock, we have Brown, who's 1-3. Trailing number 16, USC, who's 2-1. USC here by 18.5 on the Pac-12 Network. At 8 o'clock, we have Southern, who's 1-3. Trailing number 23, Illinois, who's 3-1. and one. Illinois favorite 24.5 points in the Big Ten Network. And finally, at 8.30, we had Dayton, who's 3-1. and one, uh, Taking on number 6, Houston, who's 5-0 and oh on a neutral court. Houston favorite 12.5 points on ESPN. So, um, there's some games I think you could probably rule out I'm going to pick. Right off the bat, the 2-6 and the 2-8 games. Um, we're talking about lowest spread of those being 18.5 I'm not touching those, <laughs> obviously. Uh, there's a shot some of them hit because this week has been crazy. We've seen a lot of teams that you wouldn't think. Smaller conference teams like UNC Greensboro or Penn or Bryant or UC Irvine hit an upset on the road. It's not crazy to think it could happen, but I am going to go with the safe bet here. Um, and I'm going to go with one of the four where there's actual basketball teams playing that a lot of people know and respect as basketball programs. Um, let's talk some of them off the bat. UConn, Indiana is going to be a hell of a basketball game. And this is the basketball game where Indiana can either prove they deserve to be a top 25 team or UConn can prove that they're a top five team, right? Like Indiana, this is a battle of undefeated. This is going to be like who gets their first loss. And um, UConn, Indiana is going to be an important game in the all in the grand scheme of things, this is going to be important for Indiana fans. It's going to be important for UConn fans. Just basketball fans as a whole. I think this game could be really good. This game could be really important. Um, Texas, Louisville. Uh, I think Texas is a significantly better team than Louisville. I'm actually very impressed that Louisville is 2-1 and one right now. They have, they've won some eek squeakers against not great basketball teams. I don't think Louisville is a good basketball team. They, they've lost, their first game was very bad. But you can do it, be doing a lot worse than two and one right now if you're Louisville. And then Dayton, Houston is actually really interesting to me. I have a lot of respect for the Flyers as a program. I typically think they're a pretty good team, and I normally respect them a good amount. Um, here's the thing: I I have just an insane amount of respect for Houston. Houston got pushed to its limits against Utah the other day. I'm not going to say they didn't, um, but that's a Utah team that has a lot of offense and. Even then, the Houston defense was able to, to really shut them down at certain points in the game. Houston just plays insane defense. Kelvin Sampson has an insane team every year. I have a lot of respect for them as a program. 
and I just don't see them losing to Dayton. So I think the upset I'm going to go with, it's the smallest spread of the day. So weirdly enough, I'm playing it safe on a day where I have to pick the biggest upset of the day, so it means if any other upset hit, I'm screwed. But I'm going to go K-State over Miami. I like what I've seen out of K-State so far, uh, that they, they beat a good Providence team uh, yesterday. Or I'm sorry, on Friday. It's an important game. This is a big one for me at 2.30. Kansas State taking on number 12, Miami. If any other upset hits, I'm screwed. If UConn, if Indiana beats UConn before the game starts, I'm screwed. And if the game doesn't, if Kansas State doesn't beat Miami, I'm screwed. There's a lot of ways this could go wrong. This is the only way I could get... To, this is the way I could... I think this is my best chance to get to four points is betting... On the Wildcats, I have a lot of respect for the Wildcats as a program. I think Miami's been eking out some victories so far. Um, the Georgia game wasn't quite that, but I don't really think Georgia typically has a great basketball program. So I think Kansas State is going to be their first legitimate test. This is Miami's first real test of a real basketball team. And I think Kansas State can beat them on a neutral court. Give me the Wildcats to pull off the upside of the day.